Your Eminence, this conference, what do you propose to aim at in this conference? Several different groups are doing things, you know, on each, each one on its own level, at its own scheme, at its own speed and all of that. But it's good, it's good to recognize that, especially on the level of religions, that there's a lot. That, that binds us together, that we share in common, which when marshaled and put together can probably become a big contributory force to everything that the world family, I mean the United Nations, seeks to do. And so uh, this fact to be, to be recognized and known that there is a potential contribution that resides in the religions and the religious leaders, and two, if we have to making the recognition, after everybody recognizing that they indeed have something to contribute, see how we can do it. But do it not simply as individuals, which is inevitable because when we live here, each one operates in his own country with different communities. So invariably we have to work on a community level. But on the other on the on the on the other hand, we also recognize that the recording will be that we belong to a group. Mm -hmm. Okay, and belong to a group, and belonging to a group to recognize that everything is not just what I'm doing in my corner, but belonging to a group to see how the group support can also be operationalized, you know, tied into whatever local situation we're in. So that is one. One, so basically it is one. What are religions for? They're for sustainability, because every religion is long term, long vision if not even to the end of the world and going to heaven, you know. So, so it's not a thing of short-term vision. The goals of religion are very long. So a very, a very useful context for any discourse about sustainability. They say the second thing is that most religions have within the atom there's not a better future. Whether you call it paradise, you call it whatever, mm -hmm. you call it whatever, it's always the aspiration for something better. SDG, SDG goal says, let's work towards you know, a, narr a narrative of human dignity. Mm -hmm. Okay, that leaves nobody you know, out or nobody behind. This, in a way, merges also with the vision of several religious groups. Third thing is that religions already have been involved in the well-being of humanity flourishing with projects and everything that they do. Mm -hmm. They do schools, they do clinics, they do hospitals, they do all of that. It's, it's something that they used to doing already. Okay, so why don't you see how we can, if you want, map all of this, make it all of that, and see how cumulatively we contribute to making a difference in, in, the, in the world. And then probably the last observation I can make about this is again to recognize that we possess a language that motivates and convinces people about the need to change. Mm -hmm. The SDGs cannot be realized without what we call conversion. They both talked about ecological conversion. We can talk about changing lifestyle, changing value system, changing changing habits and you know call it whatever. And this is the usual language of religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Calling on people for change, calling on people to change and motivating them to change. So for all of these religions possess a treasure which when marshaled and put together it's likely to become a very useful force in society. Do you think this uh, conference will inspire them to put into action all that what you have said? Yeah, they, 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 this conference is meant first and foremost to create, to create awareness. Their religion should recognize first and foremost that this is something that they have. There is a wisdom, there is a power, there is something that they have, a treasure that they possess. That recognition is important. Because otherwise, when we leave here, everybody goes settles down. It's me and my small religious community in the middle of whatever, nowhere. And the sense is, you know, to lose whatever side. So it's to recognize it in the first place. And the second thing, which is what we aiming to do from tomorrow workshop type of thing, is to collect good practices. Mm -hmm. People have been doing things already. Good practices which can become encouragement and motivation for others. Okay, so that is going to be that, and that's going to be about the actual process of getting concrete mm -hmm. with everything that we're talking about. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot.